Hello, everypony, and welcome to another episode of Headcanon, the show where I take MLP theory and turn it into more detailed MLP theory. Anyway, I'm Dulcetone, and let's talk about the new villain of Season 5, Starlight Glimmer. This will contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode, what the hell are you doing here? Starlight Glimmer is the founder and head of a small town with no name in the middle of the desert that somehow immediately becomes Snowy Mountains. Can we get a topography check over here, please? Anyway, this character is great. She's a cynic, a manipulator, and knows how to use mob mentality to her advantage while ruling with an iron hoof. This is a villain we've never seen in MLP before, and would round out the Council of Doom if there ever was one. Now it's time to light the fuse on today's discussion. Starlight Glimmer may be the strongest antagonist MLP has ever had. Still here? Good. Let's start well off with some facts. We've seen in the show that Starlight is able to remove cutie marks and replace them with a different one. It's later revealed that this was her own power and not a magical staff. Going back again to that scene, Twilight is in intense pain, and yet Starlight doesn't even seem to be drained. This is a unicorn who is adversely affecting an alicorn using her own magic. Let's go back to the season 4 finale for a minute. Twilight was able to absorb three alicorns worth of magic and use it all as her own to fight Tyrek to a standstill. Tyrek had sucked out every unicorn, pegasi, and earth pony, as well as Discord's chaos magic before fighting her. Four alicorns combined equal all of that. That means that Twilight herself must have around one-fourth of that power. Starlight defeated this princess in one shot, without breaking a sweat. As a unicorn. The cutie mark itself is the cutie mark of magic, and it was proven that Twilight could absorb other magic. When it was removed, Twilight couldn't use any magic or flight, and even had a hard time thinking. Considering what she pulled off in the season finale, it's hard to believe that removing her mark didn't outright kill her. This speaks to both Glimmer's power and mastery of the spell. She has obviously used the spell before many times over. She can even remove five marks simultaneously. But unless she's taken an alicorn before, which would take more effort than she is used to exerting, it would have shown on her face during the close-up. Now the counterpoint to this argument would be when Twilight blocked her magic at the end. To this, I say one of two things. Twilight is a prodigy of magic. Seeing the spell once, she could have cast a barrier that could counter that type of spell. Another thing that could be said is that her final attack was not the cutie on marking. At no time did we see a spiral charge when she used the unmaking spell, and she was backed against the wall, everything she stood for being destroyed. This was the lashing out of a cornered animal. And considering that she had a beam that could pulverize stone, this was shoot to kill. Twilight has better knowledge of combat magic because she's used them in battle. Glimmer has been doing nothing but relaxing in her village, mastering her unmarking spell. At the very least, this puts her on par with Twilight, if not stronger overall. There have been instances where weaker characters have been able to defeat stronger ones because a single attribute of theirs is greater. It happened for Pokemon. It's happened for Ruby, and it's happening here. Now let's talk about her other abilities as a unicorn. It's granted that we never see her use a teleportation spell like Twilight or Sunset, but her other abilities are at a level not seen before in the show. Unicorns have been able to control multiple objects through telekinesis at short range, such as across a room. Starlight managed to halt and return six jars from the bottom of a bridge that she was on top of, far beyond the normal telekinetic ranges we've seen. Shortly after that, she fires a beam capable of pulverizing stone while still holding on to the jars. This pony can multitask with her horn, something brand new to the series. The final part is what happens to her at the end. She gets away. Now, contrary to popular belief, we've had our share of irredeemable villains on this show, Sombra and Tyrek the most noticeable. However, their defeats ended in their destruction or capture. 
Starlight manages to escape while ignoring Twilight's lesson, considering she believes her ideals so strongly that nothing can change her mind. This not only opens the door to a season-long villain, but it also makes her more of a threat than ever. Twilight and crew destroyed in a couple of days what she had worked for years to accomplish. With her already awesome power and her knowledge of the Meadowbrook items, this season could take a turn of being the next Jackie Chan Adventures, where the heroes collect and secure all the items, only to have them stolen by the villain at the end for a super, for like a super battle at the end of the season. So Starlight Glimmer shows an adept magical power. She can remove an alicorn's cutie mark and not break a sweat. She can pulverize stone while multitasking and use her telekinesis at a longer range than normal. She's got a sense of driving purpose, which can make her even more dangerous, and will lash out in anger when cornered instead of surrender. Oh, and this happens. Every pony has unique talents and gifts, and when we share them with each other, that's how we- QUIET! Best moment ever. Not only did she just plain shut up Twilight mid-friendship speech, but had the best facial animation of the new season. Overall, she may be the strongest enemy the girls have ever had to face, and will face. But what is that, really? Hmm, it's nothing special. It's just my head cannon. I'm Delta Tone. Thanks for watching. My OC art has been brought to you by Natsu714. Click the annotation to visit her DeviantArt page and learn about her commissions. Or follow the link in the description to visit her YouTube channel.